take a journey down a lizard's throat. Hope you're wearing your acid-proof overcoat. This is an instructional video taken by a veterinarian of a large black-throated monitor lizard. The lizard is two meters or six and a half feet long and was fed a medium-sized feeder rodent. Despite advances in exotic animal endoscopy, examples involving reptiles are scarce. This video provides the viewer with a pragmatic overview on the transport of prey from the pharynx of a large monitor lizard to the esophagus and finally to the stomach. Take a journey down a lizard's throat. As seen here, the esophagus is the passage from the mouth. It extends from the pharynx to the stomach and is positioned dorsal to the trachea. In snakes, the esophagus is thin-walled with little muscle. However, in lizards, alligators, and crocodiles, the esophagus is quite muscular. The rodent squeezes past a sphincter leading to the lizard's stomach. A sphincter is a tight ring of muscle at an opening that clamps shut unless, for example, food or waste is passing through. Only the tip of the rodent's tail is seen as its body travels to the lizard's stomach for digestion. The stomach is where both mechanical and chemical digestion occurs. A low pH liquid surrounds the prey that favors pepsin activity. Pepsin is the primary digestive enzyme that breaks down proteins into smaller chains known as polypeptides. And finally, into amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. The predator will arrange the amino acids into proteins it can use. Breaking down of protein is also utilized as a source of energy. No more rodent. Hi, reptile enthusiasts. This is a science-based channel that puts effort into educating viewers about reptile behavior, usually feeding behavior. And like the Discovery Channel, we try to make it interesting. Any questions, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join us this season for another episode of Reptile Channel. Please subscribe.